In this video, we will see how we can construct a binary tree from a given in-order and post-order traversal using iterative method. So the goal is, given these two traversals, in-order and post-order, we have to construct this binary tree. So in-order is left, root and right. And post-order is left, right and root. And we also know that the last node of the post-order traversal is the root node of the tree. So here A is the root node. So I've already explained one recursive method of creating this tree. So in that method, we start from the last node of the post-order traversal and we traverse in the reverse direction. So we find the post-order node in the in-order traversal. So here we find A. So A will be the root node and the left part will be in the left subtree and the right part will be in the right subtree. So the left part is HTPL and the right part is Z, C and E. So similarly doing this for all the nodes of the post order traversal, we can further split this tree and we can obtain this binary tree. So this recursive method I've already explained in my previous video. If you have any doubts on that, you can refer to the video in the top right corner. Now the focus here is on the iterative method. Let's see how we can create this tree using iterative method. So we are given these two traversals in order and post order. The first step of the pseudocode is we keep two variables post index and in index. Both are pointing to the last element of the traversal. So the array size is eight. So both of these are pointing to the seventh element. And then we have a flag variable, which helps us to decide whether we want to create the left child or the right child. So post index is used for the post order traversal and in index will help us to traverse the in order traversal array. Then we keep two variables previous and root and we create a new tree node of value post order post index. So post index is seven. So we create a new tree node with the seventh index of the post order array. So seventh index is pointing to A. So we create a new tree node with the value A. So this is our new tree node and both previous and root are pointing to it. So both are pointing to A. In the next step, we decrement the post index. So the post index is now six. Then we create a stack and we push the root node. So we push A in the stack. Then we have this while loop, which we run till post index is greater than or equal to zero. We come inside and we check index of the in order traversal. So this is pointing to E because in index is seven and seventh index of the in order traversal is E. And top of the stack is A. So these are not equal. We come in the else part. And here we create a new tree node with the sixth value of the post order index. So sixth value is Z. So we create a new tree node of value Z. And then we check if flag is zero. We set previous right to node. So previous was A. So right of A becomes Z. So we link this node. And previous is now previous of right. So previous will be Z. Then we come here and we push node in the stack. So we push Z and we decrement the post index. So post index becomes five. In the next iteration, we compare top of the stack, which is Z to the in order index, which is E. So these are not equal. We come in the else part and now we create a new tree node with the fifth index of the post order traversal. So fifth index is C. So we create a new tree node with the value C and flag is zero. Previous is Z, so right of Z is now C, and previous becomes equal to C. Then we push node in the stack, so we push C, and we decrement the post index. So post index becomes 4. In the next iteration, we compare top of the stack, which is C, to the in order index, which is E. So these are not equal, we come in the else part, and now we create a new tree node with the fourth index of the post order traversal which is E. The flag is zero. So we set right of previous to E. So right of C becomes E and previous becomes E. And now we push node in the stack. So we push E and then we decrement the post index. So it becomes three. In the next step, we compare top of the stack, which is E to the in order index, which is also E. We come inside the if statement and previous becomes equal to top of the stack, which is E and then we pop from stack. So we pop E and we decrement the in index. 
so in index becomes 6 and then flag becomes 1 we come in the next iteration and then we compare top of the stack which is c to the in order index which is also c so both are equal we come inside and we set previous to top of the stack so previous becomes c and then we pop from the stack we decrement the in index so it becomes 5 and we set flag to 1 now in the next iteration top of the stack is z and the in order index is also z so both are equal we come inside we set previous to top of the stack so previous becomes z and then we pop from the stack we decrement the in index so it becomes 4 and we set flag to 1 in the next iteration top of the stack is a and the in index is 4 so the in order index is pointing to element a so both are equal we set previous to top of the stack which is a and we pop from the stack so the stack is empty now we decrement the in index and it becomes 3 and we set flag to 1 in the next iteration we check if stack is empty so stack is empty now we come in the else part we create a new tree node with the third index of the post order traversal so third index is d so we create a new tree node of value d we check the value of flag so we come in the else part previous was a and node is d so left of a is now d so we link this and previous is now previous of left so previous becomes d and flag becomes 0 now we push d in the stack and we decrement the post index so post index becomes 2 in the next iteration so stack is not empty and the in order index is pointing to l and top of the stack is d so these are not equal we come in the else part now we create a new tree node with the second index of the post order traversal so second index is l so we create a new tree node with the value l so flag is 0 now we set right of previous to l so previous was d so right of d becomes l and previous becomes right of previous so previous is now l then we push l in the stack and we decrement the post index so post index becomes 1 in the next iteration top of the stack is l and the in order index is pointing to l so both are equal we set previous to top of the stack which is l and then we pop from the stack so we pop l from the stack we decrement the in index so it becomes 2 and we set flag to 1 in the next iteration we compare top of the stack which is d to the in order index which is p so both are not equal we come in the else part and we create a new tree node with the first index of the post order traversal so first index is p so we create a new tree node with the value p so flag is 1 we come in the else part previous is l so left of l becomes p and previous is now left of previous which is p and then we set flag to 0 we push p in the stack and then we decrement the post index so post index becomes 0 in the next iteration top of the stack is p and the in order index is pointing to p so both are equal we set previous to top of the stack which is p and then we pop from the stack we decrement the in index so it becomes 1 and we set flag to 1 in the next iteration we compare top of the stack which is d to the in order index which is also d so both are equal we set previous to top of the stack so it becomes d we pop from the stack so the stack is empty now we decrement the in index so it becomes 0 and we set flag to 1 in the next iteration we check if stack is empty so stack is empty now we come in the else part and now we create a new tree node with the zeroth index of the post order traversal so zeroth index is h so we create a new tree node with the value h flag is 1 so we come in the else part so previous is d and node is h so left of d becomes h so we connect this and previous becomes equal to left of previous which is h and then we set flag to 0 we push node in the stack so we push h and then we decrement the post index 
so post index becomes minus one then we check the while condition so now post index is less than zero so this while condition fails and we come out of the while loop and we return the root node the root node is a so this is the tree that we obtain using the in order and the post order traversals so in this method we just keep going right and we keep pushing nodes in the stack once the top of the stack matches the in order index then we start popping from the stack now once we have seen the algorithm let's have a look at the implementation all the source code that i'll be showing is available in my github repository link of that is available here and as well as in the description now let's have a look at the code in the main function i have these two arrays in order and post order where i'm storing the traversals then i have this function construct tree in which i'm passing these two vectors in this function i initialize two variables post index and in index both are pointing to the last element of the vector then i create a stack of type tree node i create a new node which is pointing to the last element of the post order index so it is pointing to a which is the root of the tree then i decrement the post index and i push the root node in the stack then i keep a variable previous which is also pointing to the root of the tree then i have this while loop which i run till post index is greater than or equal to 0 then i check if stack is not empty and top of the stack is equal to the in order index if this is true i pop from the stack and i decrement the in index and i set flag to 1 otherwise i create a new tree node of value post index of the post order array and then i check if flag is 0 i go in the right otherwise i go in the left then i push node in the stack and i decrement the post index and at the end when the while loop terminates i return the root node in the main function i use this root node to print the in order and the post order traversal so this is to ensure that the tree which we have constructed is correct so the in order traversal and the post order traversal which is printed using the constructed tree should match what was originally given to us now let's see the output of this program so the tree has been constructed and the in order traversal is hdpl azce and the post order is hpld ecza so both of these match with what was initially given to us so the tree has been accurately constructed so that was all for this video if you have any doubts or suggestions please leave in the comment section below if you like my content please do like share and subscribe to my channel it really motivates me to make more such content and until next time this is sandeep thapar signing off